Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 with Duke Tietmar, the Just of Franconia. We won our 700,000 civil war in Germany. It's an absolute mess. It's a total, total mess. We lost our marshal on the way somehow, uh, so we'll try to find a new one, which is going to be our mayor of Rottenburg, I suppose. That's as good as anybody. Why not? And you can build up some troops here in Würzburg. I think we're going to need it, hopefully. Not, but uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, we have a claim on uh, mines, so definitely war is on the rise. And the new king, also, as I uh, pointed out last time, he's an ambitious guy who doesn't have enough domain. Ah, ah, I don't like that. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. That does not sound good. But let's let's be maybe positive. He's already goes in the wrong direction. Of course, he wants to revoke some land. Of course, you do. Of course you do. Why would you not want to provoke some land? <sighs> yeah. We claim I can press on some duchy up here. Interesting. For whom it is? For uh, somebody who is somebody's uh, who's matrilinear married to my niece. I suppose that is actually an interesting thought in theory. But we'd have to declare on whom let's see so for him and this and the person who holds it is you so we would have to fight you i mean i'm not opposed to that breton holding land, land here in, in that area and for my niece it's certainly a worthwhile thing so it's also a quick homosexual guy Interesting how I know that. Um, yeah, I don't think that's um, out of the question, at least it's somewhat interesting. He's also my my nephew, who I like, his, uh, his niece. So it must mean that she's also related to me somehow differently. She's my niece as well. Yeah. Interesting. My nephew's niece is my niece. I think there's something a little bit confusing on the wording, but let's not go too deep into the family relation tree here. Uh, more importantly, I think, than, than her claim is our claim, which is uh, we have to fight against the Duke of Hessen, which is a no-brainer, it's very simple. And then finally, Mainz is under control. So unfortunately, we don't get a claim here on Frankfurt at the same time, it seems like. We could try to give, him, give her a bit more time, but the chance of a fake claim fabricates only 10% a year. So I think I'm gonna press it um, and I'm going to instruct her to try to get another claim somewhere else. Maybe, maybe here in this area. Kingdom of Arles. Wow, this has been a little bit border court. But I suppose that's not out of the question at least, but it's a bit far away. I think conquering internally certainly is more more easy. Trying to expand down here into the area of Schwaben, I think, is definitely something that we could do. So here in Württemberg. Yeah. Let's go to, to Württemberg with you. And I will declare a war on the Kingdom of Hessen to conquer mines. And we're going here to Aschaffenburg. He wants to make me a counselor, a chancellor. Mm -hmm. um, sure, let's say. But don't expect too much. Riding through the countryside together with my escort, I come up on a lonely inn. It's empty inside from a nervous looking innkeeper who nervously promises food and wine at a very reasonable price. Oh no. That doesn't sound good. My guards detain the innkeeper and pull open the floorboards to reveal a massive pit of manure beneath the inn. The innkeeper confesses to having been paid to ignite the manure once we were seated, blowing everyone to kingdom come. But his employer concealed his or her identity. Somebody is trying to kill me. Um, who has the most motivation? We already know it. 
actually our heir we're also trying to kill how successful is that plot do we have somebody backing it do we know my nephew stop backing that plot or else i will freaking kill you yes that was he was basically behind it actually but i mean i don't know Commander, uh, I'm a bit busy, sorry. Yeah, we almost already won it. I mean, do we want to siege it down? I mean, does it hurt it, the domain, when you siege it down? I guess it doesn't matter. Let's siege it down. Uh, successor nomination. Norbert of Nordgau. Um, I have an alternative idea. How about Duke? Kitmar of, uh, uh, of Franconia. How about that guy? Uh, one second. Can I just finish this war maybe? Would that not be like super cool if I could? I could not, right? Decline it. Okay. Why do, uh, why do the kings never learn? They always want to like be like super sneaky and they fail spectacularly because they just don't know how to do things. Not that I do, uh, because I also forgot my troops down here as always. Yeah, let's try to go to Regensburg here and you can do that attack. Here we already should have some siege process progress, but we didn't get it somehow. Okay, we're gonna go move our troops down here for the first battle. Also going down a little bit slower. Did we lose our claim by the way? No, we just have it. Okay. So that war will continue. Okay, where did I ask you to consolidate? Down here. Mm -hmm. There's some rebellions going on that we should be aware. Okay, there is some confusion here. We will go to Ulm for the first fight. And here, up here, there's a little bit too few troops. If they consolidated a bit too much, then um, this would be very deadly. So I want to try to not do that. But I mean, Bremen is no longer the capital, I forgot, right? What's the capital? Braunschweig. Ah. Braunschweig. Here. That's the capital, I see. Okay. Very very much in the in the area. So if I try to attack them, it would be a bit of a close fight, especially with not so good commanders. But what are you gonna do? They're going down anyway from here, so that's fine. I think we can try to make them force a fight, so let's go here to Weinsberg. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, please go to Weinsberg and attack me here across the mine. That sounds perfectly smart from you to do. We finally have our things more or less consolidated and now we can put like here some smart people in charge and hopefully can get some successes here. They're already going up to our, our siege uh, so let's try to be faster. Seek treatment for illness. 
Now our focus is not quite that, but uh, that is definitely also a concern for us, of course. Okay, go to Aschaffenburg. Big fight. Should be fine. Excited to see who's gonna be king next. I know that it's not gonna be me, unfortunately. That would be like, from my perspective, it would make so much more sense now that this all happens that I fight until I get until I become the king because it just is the most practical solution, let's say, to these uh, constant conflicts that we're having. Try to to hunt them down one more time at least. Uh, I think we need it. Is that some mercenaries you just got? Do you have nothing better to spend your money on? But I already knew, of course, that you know this ambitious king and me, we wouldn't get along. I, I think that was. Uh, I think I said it last episode, so there was no surprise there. I guess. beneficial fight but that's okay yeah getting some money from those mayors that we're capturing it's okay as well but this king is a little bit more wealthy so you can you know you can and suck it when we, when we crush his uh, territories. And the next one would be Verben. All right. So we're gonna go half half here. Just sent you already to Verben. I think the bat the battles don't matter now. I think we're like just gonna siege quickly the last few remnants here, just so that we can recover a bit of the money that that we're losing and the opportunity cost recovering from not having mines. So Schweinfurt. Jousting lists. Heavy cavalry attack, yes, please. And yeah, he's teaching us as well. Maybe we should try to hurry up. Okay, then let's call it here. Enforcing the demands Duke Rutger of Nordgar. Congratulations, they should call me the kingmaker because I make a lot of kings. Chaste, temperate, temperate is good, right? Moderation, you have five, you don't need six, so maybe you can leave me alone. That's the thought. Appointment to Chancellor, sure. I know that game. You know, guys, maybe, maybe we could all come together and learn something. Who should be king? <laughs> How about that? So we don't have a truth with them, hopefully, because the war was invalidated, right? 1k troops. Yeah, claiming mines. Let's go. Let's go. Again, forgetting down here but until they arrive it's almost always like a little bit late a 
Sure. Oh, Würzburg prospers. Yeah. Perfectly good. So then, my man, please prepare an attack here in Aschaffenburg. Very common battleground for us, it seems. And indeed, we won already. So we should be able to siege uh, the capital here quickly. Mines uh, is a bit more. Actually, we can siege it even with 700 troops just. And that's perfect. Uh, just he has 800, so I think he will get like stupid ideas if I leave only 700 there. So we'll do it like 50 50 split, I think. That's a bit more risk adjusted. He will try to get Würzburg. Should try to get more levy here. Council support by voting with you in the council. Hmm. Sure. Let's see. I'm not so diplomatic. That was me a favor. woman of accused of witchcraft um, I think then she will go to the dungeon that seems like a reasonable punishment oh I became ambitious did I or did she become no I did war declaration sovereignty okay that means oh no Oh no, that's terrible. Okay. Of cancer, of course. So my sister, my I'm like the new person here, Duke Conrad the Fourth of Franconia. And my sister is my heir. Fascinating. So Duke Tidmar has given up the ghost at age fifty two. He died of cancer. Always patient, he never lost his temper. I should have thought thought out this uh, treatment. I, I was so focused on my, my thing, so ambitious became in the end. He was a godly man. Dietmar is with the Blessed Virgin now. Not that he needs the Blessed Virgin, to be honest. Uh, Duke Conrad IV, a crafty and perceptive man. He will have no problems gaining leverage where needed. Yes, the guy from outside of the territory, he probably killed us. No, no, he didn't. The cancer did. But nonetheless, um, wow. That is crazy. Like, he, he was actually, he was with our enemy. In Fritzlar, and he, <laughs> how does that even happen? Like we're at war with him, and he was a spy master here, I think, in Fritzlar. And then you're like, oh, I inherited like <laughs> the enemy's territory, my leash. Uh, I'm your enemy now. Uh, yeah, that is uh, too bad. And we also have not the ability to have that much land because we're unmarried at 32. But I think with these problems, we're gonna deal next time. So I will end the episode here. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next season of CK2. Bye bye.